Hello everyone, greetings to all. <clears throat> In this video, we are going to see about the important 15 MCQ questions in the topic of strength of materials with some explanations. Now we will see the first question. A rectangular bar of width B and height H is being used as a cantilever. The loading is in a plane parallel to the side B. The section modulus is. In this question, they are asked about the section modulus and also they given a rectangular bar a rectangular bar of width b and its height is h it is used as a cantilever this is very important it is used as a cantilever and next one is the loading is in a plane parallel to the side b so the loading is parallel to the side b so they asked what is the section modulus so in this case the section modulus of a rectangular bar is b square h divided by 6 this is the correct answer please remember it is given as a rectangular bar and it is the loading is plane parallel to the side b so this is very important a rectangular bar of width b and height h is used as a cantilever the loading in a plane parallel to the side b then the section modulus is b square h divided by 6 but if they are given the loading is in a plane parallel to the side h means the section modulus is b h square divided by 6 this is other case when the loading is in a plane parallel to the side h means the section modulus answer is b h square divided by 6 so in this case the answer is b square h divided by 6 now we will move to the next question as compared to inertial tension or compression, the strain energy stored in a bending is only. They ask about the strain energy stored in a bending as compared to inertial tension or compression. So the strain energy stored in a bending is only one third as compared to inertial tension or compression. So 1 by 3 is the correct answer. Now we will move to the next question. The ratio of strengths of solids to hollow shafts both having outside diameter d and hollow having inside diameter d by 2 in torsion is. They asked about the ratio of strength of solid to hollow shafts. So solid means its dia is d and hollow means its outer dia is d and inner dia is d by 2. So they asked about the ratio of strength of solid to hollow shafts so in this case the answer is option d 15 by 16 if they ask the hollow to shaft means the answer is 16 by 15 please remember this is very important solid to hollow shafts so in this case the ratio of strength of solid to hollow means its ratio is 15 by 16 now we will move to the next question The weakest section of a diamond reverting is a section which passes through. They ask about what is the weakest section in diamond reverting. When we are doing in reverting, in diamond reverting, the weakest section is the first row. The first row of the section only, the weakest section of the diamond reverting. So the answer is first row. In this case of diamond reverting, the reverting passes through the first section. It is the weakest section. So the answer is option A is the correct answer. First row. In diamond reverting, the first row of the section is the weakest section. Now we will move to the next question. In a loader beam, the point of contraflexure occurs at a section where. So the point of contraflexure is nothing but the bending moment sign will be changed to either positive to negative so that point is called the point of contraflexure or either the bending moment will become zero so this point is the point point is the contraflexure so in a loaded beam the point of contraflexure occurs at a section where there are five options are given bending moment is maximum bending moment is zero or changes the sign 
bending moment is maximum shear force is maximum shear force is minimum the correct answer is bending moment is zero or changes its sign so whenever the bending moment changes its sign either plus two minus or minus two plus that point is the point of contraflexure now we will move to the next question The ratio of elongations of conical bar due to its own weight and that of prismatic bar of same length is they are, they are asked about the ratio of elongations of conical bar to the prismatic bar of same length so in this case the answer is 1 by 3 please remember the ratio of elongations of conical bar to prismatic bar the answer is 1 by 3 now we will move to the next question a 3 inch arch is said to be a 3 inch arch what is the 3 inch arch there are four options are given it is a statically determined structure or it is a statically indeterminate structure or it's a bent beam or none of these there are four options given a 3 inch arch is said to be a statically determined structure so the option a is the correct answer now we will move to the next question the deflection due to couple m at the free end of a cantilever length l so a cantilever beam is given a deflection due to couple of moment at the free end so this moment is the moment at the free end and they ask about what is the deflection so in this case the answer is m l square divided by 2 e i please remember the deflection due to couple of moment m at the free end so at the free end so the answer is option c m l square divided by 2 e i now we will move to the next question the shape of the bending moment diagram over the length of a beam having no external load is always whenever the beam having no external load means the shape of the bending moment will be a linear so the answer is option a is a correct answer now we will move to the next question pick up the correct statement sorry pick up the incorrect statement there are five options are given the cross sectional area of the welded member is effective this is correct one a welded joint develops a strength of its parent metal yes this is also a correct one welded joints provide rigidity yes this is also correct one welded joints have a better finish when compared to riveting or and compared to bolting so welded always give a better finish this is also correct one option e welding takes more than riveting this is wronger one riveting only takes more time when compared to welding so welding takes less time when compared to riveting so in this case the correct answer is option e now we we will move to the next question a uniform girder simply supported at its ends is subjected to a uniformly distributed load over its entire length and is propped at the center so as to neutralize the deflection the net bending moment at the center will be they will they will given a uniform girder and it's simply supported at its ends and subjected to uniformly distributed load over the entire length and it's propped at the center so the prop will be given at the center so as to neutralize the deflection so in this case what is the net bending moment of the center they asked about the net bending moment at the center so in this case the answer is wl divided by 32 so option d is the correct answer now we will move to the next question the beam length l is pinned at both ends and is subjected to a concentrated bending moment couple of moment m at the center the maximum bending moment in the beam they given as a pinned at the both ends and subjected to a concentrated bending couple of moment at the center they will given the couple of moment at the center they ask about what is the maximum bending moment whenever a couple of moment only given the maximum bending moment in the beam is equal to that the couple of the moment m so the answer is option a m is the correct answer the maximum bending moment in the beam is a couple of moment m now we will move to the next question if two forces acting at a joint are not along the straight line 
then the force of equilibrium of the joint they told if two forces are acting at a joint are not along the straight line if two forces are acting at the joint so this is a joint up a is a joint but it's not along the straight line then for the equilibrium of the joint there are four options are given one of the forces must be zero each of the forces must be zero forces must be equal and of the same sign forces must be equal in magnitude but opposite in sign so the answer is each force must be a zero so option b is the correct answer so if two forces acting at a joint are not along the straight line this is very important or not along the straight line then for the equilibrium of the joint will be each force must be zero now we will move to the next question a closely coiled helical spring of radius r contains n turns and is subjected to an axial load w if the radius of the coil wire is r and modulus of rigidity of the coil material is c the stress developed in the helical spring is they ask about what is the stress developed in the helical spring so in this case the correct answer is option b 2 w r divided by pi r cube where w is the axial load and r is the helical spring radius and small r is the coil wire radius so the stress developed in the helical spring is 2 w r divided by pi r cube now we will move to the next question if the shear force along a section of the beam is zero the bending moment of the section is please remember the shear force along a section of the beam is zero the bending moment at the section so whenever the shear force sf equal to zero means that point bending moment is the maximum and also the bending moment is zero means that point shear force have a maximum value so if the shear force along a section of a beam is zero the bending moment at the section is always maximum so option b is the correct answer if shear force along a 